Okay. Dan came on to the game late today, hoping to make an impact. There was a half chance or two out there, but uh, frustrating overall for Aldershot Town to, to have lost both games against Barnet without there being perhaps a huge difference between the two sides of the game. Yeah, I think we were disappointed. We matched them for quite a lot. I think the win played a big, big deal today in the game. Um, it was hard to deal with that first half. I think the lads, it was, it was hard to get out and they uh, made us pay. Phil pulled off some good saves, but yeah, like you said, over the two games, I think we've matched them and on an, it's just those fine lines between winning the game, drawing and losing. And unfortunately, we haven't managed to score. I probably should have maybe done slightly better in my shot, but got another day that goes in. The first half probably was a bit disappointing from Aldershot's point of view. We didn't really get our, our game going as an attacking force, did we? Obviously, you know, we'll, we'll gloss over the goal. It was clear for all to see it was just a, a routine mistake capitalised on. But from Aldershot's point of view, we weren't really able to get our game going. What did uh, manager Andy Scott have to say at half time, uh, you know, when he did bring about a change? Uh, I wasn't in there, to be honest with you. Ah, right. But um, I'm sure he said use the win, try and keep them penned into their half, um, get the ball into the box and really try and put some pressure onto them and make the, make the goalie try and make, make him work and see, see what happens. And how are you feeling, uh, you know, about your own situation at the moment? It's been a bit of a frustrating stop to start. You got that first goal the other week and... Uh, one or two chances as well. You make an impact when you come into games, but I'm sure just uh, dying to get another start at the moment. Yeah, like personally, I'm frustrated, um, but it's the gaffer's decision, and I have to do what he says. Really, um, any player's frustrated by not playing, um, just like any other player. And I hate sitting on the bench, but um, all I can do is try and come on and as much time as I get, and like you said, make an impact and try and try and get a goal in the short time. I have. Now, calendar-wise, it's halfway through the season. Obviously, as we know, we're a little bit further than that, but. Uh, how would you rate uh, Aldershot's season so far as we come into the new year? Is it a question of done okay but could certainly do a lot better? Yeah, I think we, we all know we could be doing better, but we are where we are for a reason. Um, I think we're trying to work on things, and, but we've been unlucky with results. I think we've played well and not won. Um, and also played a lot worse and, and won, so it's, it's league's difficult and anyone beats anyone, but we've definitely got the players here to, to get results and do well, so I think overall we've we can, we've got some things to build on, so it's positive. No, no, no midweek game this week, uh, but uh, we actually go to, uh, we play Telford, sorry, on Sunday, and then it's two weeks without a game, so uh, really vital that we get the three points in that game against the side struggling down the bottom, but by no means laying down. Yeah, it's a massive game for us, obviously if we win that, then we go push right up into mid-table, and then there's an even bigger cushion for us, and we're not looking down, we're looking up again, so yeah, we'll, we'll go into that Sunday game thinking, <coughs> taking the positives out of this game and really going there to win. We're at home, so we'll really go for it. We'll train well. Thanks for coming and joining no us problem. at the end of the game today. Uh, I know it's, uh, it's always difficult after a defeat, but uh, thanks for braving it, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Cheers, Dan. Thanks.